Testing. <clears throat> Testing. 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 Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. 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 Uh, let's make sure audio here is working. So, we're good. I think we can hear it. Okay. Welcome to another Hoopo stream. Today we are going to be looking at Nerf Studio. So this is the uh, tool that we were, uh, yesterday we read a Nerf paper and then they turned out to be using this tool. So looked pretty good, has Apache 2 license, which is very permissive license. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out, get it installed, see what we can do with it and see if we can generate some nerfs with it. So provides a simple API that allows simplified end-to-end -end process of creating nerfs. Okay, quick start, installation, set up the environment. You have an NVIDIA card with CUDA installed, blah, 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 okay. We're good with that. Let's create a Conda environment, so we can go ahead and copy that. Put that there. It's not working. Let's try to copy it again. Why is this not? That. Put it in there. All right, it's installing. Then we're gonna Conda activate Nerf Studio. Uh, Python dash m pip install dash dash upgrade pip. It's gonna update pip. And we have uh, CUDA 11.6, so I think we should try the CUDA 11.7 version here. So let's go ahead and uh, install this. Maybe actually let's try if there's an 11.6 version. It's actually using uh, Torch 2.0, which is interesting. Hopefully that doesn't cause issues, but I think it's supposed to be backwards compatible, so we should be fine. Is installed Python image library, a bunch of CUDA libraries, the requests. So this actually allows you to send API requests over the internet. Uh oh. TensorFlow datasets requires protobuf. Six gRPC. Okay, so there's a little bit of incompatibilities here. But let's see if it still works. Put this one in there as well. Let's see what this one does. This one seems to be not airing out. I think I actually tried to install Nerf Studio a while ago and ran into installation errors, so <laughs> Hopefully we don't run into that in this stream as well.
Uh, they also do have, while this is installing, they have basically this viewer. And as far as I understand, you basically, like, you can connect to it with your local job. So you need to connect to the WebSocket server when your training job is running. Uh, SSH must be set up on the remote machine. So if you have a Linux machine that's running this elsewhere, you can actually port into it, right? You This uh, command right here, this ssh-l, this is how you get a port to open specifically, and then you can uh, go through that. And that's how you actually, uh, you can use that for grad IO front ends as well. So I have a grad IO front end that I run on my Raspberry Pi and I use the same command here. All right, let's see where we're at here. Still, still going, might take a second. See dependencies. I've installed Nerf Studio. Or if you want the latest and greatest, I'm going to clone the project. Following, we'll train a Nerfacto model, recommended model for real world scenes. Okay, navigating to the link at the end of the terminal where we'll load the web viewer. This is freezing our computer right now. We have a Nerf model. You can either render out a video or export a point cloud. Oh, all right, there we go. Now let's uh, install Nerf Studio. Which version is Nerf Studio? Go here into releases. This is probably the one that is on PyPy, Python package. So it's about two weeks old. No longer using WebRTC, so they changed some deeper stuff. A lot of fixes here. Look at all this. A lot of contributors. Seems like there's progress on this. All right, we are good. Let's see if we can import this. So import Nerf Studio. Nerf Studio dot version. There's no dot version. That's sloppy. Nerf Studio. See, maybe doc. I don't really give it. Sloppy, we need a version here. Version property. A uh, 2ml file version. We could actually make that as a contribution. But let's make sure this even works right now. Download the test data, NS download data. Try that. I really need to get out of here first. Uh, exit. Okay, clear. Try to use this. Okay, it's downloading poster.zip.
So let's actually go in there, see what that looks like. Uh, Nerf Studio, Poster, uh, Nautilus, uh, inside the data folder, inside Nerf Studio, Poster, what do we got? We got call map data. So call map is like uh, camera position data. So you're basically open with get VS Code to open that. We got some images. Okay, so we got like basically these vertical images of a chair. Uh, images two, more images of the chair. Images eight, even more images of the chair. Uh, Transforms.json. F, X, K, P, C. These look like this is a potentially a quaternion. So a camera rotation. Or this could just be a 4x4 four four, uh, position and rotation matrix. We'll see exactly what that is. All right. So let's close out of that. Nautilus. Nautilus is basically like the file explorer, but for Linux. Now let's go ahead and see if we can train this. No module named Torch 6. Okay, so what is going on here? What is this? Search for this error on Google. No module named Torch 6. Uh, please apply fix. Uh, I cloned git master. I did not deep speed. Uh, there's all these errors. It's just torch errors. Okay, so maybe we can do this, an update. Please. Have to downgrade your Python version. Okay, let's try to download specifically the one that they had. So they had the 11.7. Let's install that. See if that makes a difference. Okay. It's, it's happening pretty fast, right? It's basically as soon as this Nerf Studio tries to import Torch. Let's see. Let's see if anybody brought this up. Is issue Torch got six. Oh, look at this. Open three hours ago. The same guy. See if there's an older issue that also has this. Any plan, uh, PyTorch 2.0 no longer supports six. Okay, so. I think the installation instructions should read. Okay, so basically what's happening, it seems, let me actually make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see, is that 
because they didn't specify the PyTorch version, right? The the, the instructions, it's not. Uh, That's a requirement to be less than. Okay, let's try this one. So it's going to use an older version of PyTorch. Let's uh, point this guy to the uh, right direction. Open up that one. We'll link to this issue here. I was able to solve this issue by following this other by looking at this other issue. Torch audio incompatible with this specific version of Torch, but totally fine. Let's see if this fixes the Torch 6 issue. Oh, no such file or directory uh, data, Nerve Studio. Okay, so we need to go back to the uh, root here. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, this is working. So we'll go ahead and comment this just so this guy is able to do it. I've got to help out the community here. Then let's go back to here, back to Nerf Studio. Name TCNN is not defined. Holy shit. So many errors. Go back into the issues here. Close this TCNN. Uh, TCNN is not defined. Open last week. Let's try it out. This guy running into issues. He can't install it. Uh, pip install fun torch. You need to build it and then install its PyTorch bindings. Tiny CUDA NN. Okay, let's try it. Where's the tiny CUDA NN installation? CUDA 13, pip install git tiny CUDA NN subdirectory equals bindings.torch. If we do Python import TCNN, no module uh, found TCNN. Let's actually see this uh, package here. NVLabs tiny CUDA NN. Maybe we can install it by going into the uh, actual project here. Lightning fast C++ CUDA neural network framework. How do you install this compilation, Windows and Linux? This is building.
Okay, so I mean, this is the command that we ran, but this one doesn't really seem to work. So I think what we need to do is See if this even works. Python. Undefined symbol. Buddha caching allocator nine. Search for that. Okay, so I think we actually need to. So let's actually try to do this. Let's uh, copy this. So we're going to exit out of here. We're going to go into our dev folder. Uh, we're going to git clone. The tiny CUDA NN library into the folder. And when you go into that tiny CUDA NN folder, uh, we're going to do a CMake dot dash B build. So CMake will. Oh no. Failed to detect a default CUDA architecture. Let's see. How do I set the CUDA architecture? Okay, so there probably needs to be some kind of uh, See, make CUDA architectures path. NVCC dot help. Sudo app install NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. App get install. All right, so installation of the NERP Studio is not going great, but basically we're running into issues with this uh, NV Labs Tiny CUDA NN dependency, and what we're trying to do is. Uh, see if we can actually build it from source and see if that <clears throat> solves it. So we reinstalled CUDA Toolkit. Okay. Now let's see if we can actually uh, NVCC help. Okay, that actually works. Um, let's actually see if, if we just go to our home directory here and uh, pip install the, it's not in our history. It's, uh, 
paste it back in here, this one here. Resolved. Submodule update. Unknown compute capability. Specify the target compute capability with TCNN CUDA architectures environment variable. All right. Fuck that. Let's go build it from source. CMake dash b build. CMake CUDA architectures must be non empty if set. Let's see if we can figure out what is the value of this variable. Nothing for that. Correct use of CMake CUDA architectures. CMake CUDA architectures. What are these numbers? 52, 60, 61, 75. Is there an NBCC command to set this? Let's see. Display error number, version indent, QPP config. Default stream. Fast math. Dash dash GPU arc. So many commands here. NV link options. Links all inputs dash run. Links object files. Generate dependencies. NVCC dash dash version. Build CUDA 11.5. Hmm, maybe that's an issue is because this is CUDA 11.5 and we have CUDA 11.6. How to make work CUDA with CMake. CMake-B build. Holy shit. 
All right, well, let's go into the issues for this and see if we can, uh, so let's try this command again. And let's copy this and uh, search the issues for this specific one. So let's go into the issues here. Uh, we don't care if it's an open issue. It might even be a closed issue. And let's go ahead and search for this. So we got someone here in uh, 2022 might be running into the same error that we have. Uh, CMake must be valid if set. Kind of sounds like our error. You have to install GCC 11 or below in order to file. Two people reacted with thumbs down, so this might be a red herring. Let's try over here. Which OS? Blah, blah, blah. Ubuntu 20. Uh, very similar. I have a single. Did you try building with make verbose equals one and paste the log here? Okay, that's a good idea. Let's do uh, verbose equals one. Maybe dash dash verbose. CMake dash dash help. Let's see if we can find, uh, and then we're gonna grep the help for verbose. Nothing. What is the verbose option for CMake? C++ people in the chat right now? Math build. List presets E. Debug find, debug output, trace. Compile, no warning. Try replacing the block, include find CUDA with the single line, set CMake CUDA architectures 86. Okay, so let's try that. Let's uh, open up a VS Code terminal here. We're going to edit the CMake lists. Uh, and then somewhere here, there should be this include Fine, no results. Let's see, CMake CUDA architectures. This thing is kind of littered with CMake CUDA architecture calls here. So you see here, there's all this kind of like logic here where basically based on the CUDA version, it's setting a different version of this variable. And then that variable is setting the actual variable, which I think is the CMake CUDA architectures. So one thing we can do is actually come here and let's try our build command again. Uh, but let's put in the CMake CUDA architectures equals uh, 86. Pretty sure that's how you do it, right? Took a while to build, but no issues. 
What if we search for this here? This isn't even this isn't even part anymore. CUDA version too low. Many CUDA requires two to ten point two or higher. Targeting CUDA architectures, CMake CUDA architectures. So let's see where the actual error is happening here. So the error is happening on line 277 of the CMake file. So 277. That doesn't sound like the right thing over here. Uh, modules. Make determine CUDA compiler CMake twenty seven. It's Christ. Oh. I remember why I didn't do this before. So, Hank. All right. Uh, 2D image requirement. Okay, let's make sure here. We have tensor cores increase performance. C++ 14 compiler. GCC 8 or higher. Ubuntu uh, list GCC version terminal GCC dash dash version So we have GCC 11.3.0 That seems fine a recent version of CUDA, uh, CUDNN, NVIDIA SMI, we have CUDA 11.6, that's correct, higher than 10.2. CMake v3.21 or higher, I think we might be able to do CMake version. Yeah, we have that. We have 3.26. Fully fused MLP. Uh, install the following packages. I'm pretty sure we have these, but let's put that in there. Okay. Do a sudo apt auto remove. There's some crap that we have there. Uh, it also recommends installing CUDA in local user and adding the CUDA installation to your path. Um, so what is our current? Echo LD library path. Nothing. Do we have CUDA in here? User, local, we have CUDA 11.6. Let's go ahead and add this to our LD library path. Maybe that's what's going on here. So we'll make sure to add the right one, which is CUDA 11.6. And let's also add the uh, CUDA 11.6 to this normal path variable here. Yeah, so now we've added both of those. 
see if we can see make dash b build nope still no good rel with deb info wonder what this second command does no rule or make target make file uh, we remove j what does it do nothing In this build folder. Nothing. Tiny CUDA comes with a PyTorch extension that allows the fast NLP. Uh, turn it easily if you would like to install. Go to CD bindings. Dash torch and then in here Python setup.py install. Let's see. It's doing something. Planning a lot. On success, you can use the tiny CUDA and then modules in the following example. So, you should be able to import this is basically the outcome of this. This guy's actually similar to us. You see this guy here He's saying uh, I'm running Ubuntu 22, which I think is pretty much what we have. Uh, I changed this line here in the CMake file into this line, and now I have a different error. Okay, so he wasn't able to solve it either. <laughs> Let's see if this example that they give us works here. Import uh, Python. Import tiny CUDA NN as TCNN. Undefined symbol. TCNN dot dot version is going to give us no module. And it's not defined. Yeah, okay, so. Ugh. Yeah. Separate modules slower but more flexible. Is there a Docker image? So much cleaner. Huh, there is a Docker image. Docker file. Okay, that's kind of good, you know? Maybe we can just do this all inside a Docker file and not have to worry about this crap. <clears throat> See if they have any instructions on how to use this Docker file. Uh, or if you want to skip and directly start, use the Docker image C installation. Use Docker image. Installation with Docker. Blah, 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 CUDA 3, Visual Studio 22, Create Environment, Dependencies, Tiny CUDA NN, 
installing Nerf Studio. Uh, NS install CLII. No, we don't that. Use Docker image. This is what we want. So, uh, capable of working with 11.8. The Docker image can be pulled from here. So, Docker. Let's make sure we have Docker. Okay, we do have Docker. Docker, pull, Dromney, Nerf Studio. And what version do we want? Uh, let's see if they have a Docker Hub link here and we can see the version. Okay, so they have 0 0.1.9 is the most recent one here. Go ahead, we can actually click this little copy right here. Put it in. That. So this is going to download the Docker image, and hopefully through the magic of containerization, we uh, can uh, deal with all these dependency issues. Oh, Monsi, comma y dot. Restrict to only CUDA architectures that you have available, use the CUDA architectures build tag. And look up the compute capability for your GPU. Uh, tables below. Video GeForce, we have a GeForce 1080 kind of thing. This one. TI. Doesn't really tell us anything. Okay, this is the actual command. We don't want to build the command from or build the Docker file, but we can do this. So you see, this will use all the GPUs, or at least it'll make them available to Docker. Uh, this will mount a volume. So basically, when you run uh, Docker containers, you can say, I want this specific folder in my uh, actual computer to correspond to this specific folder within the Docker container. So here, uh, we're going to have to give it the path to our actual data file. And then this is going to be where it pretends to exist within the container. Uh, I guess mounting a cache folder, why not? This opens up uh, the port, 7007, which I'm, is going to be the port where you uh, have the uh, viewer, right? So you want the viewer to be able to be piped through. Dash dash RM, this uh, kills the container, or basically just deletes it afterwards. Uh, dash IT opens up an interactive terminal, so you can basically play around inside the Docker container. You have uh, the total amount of memory that you're assigning to that container. Generally, you want to be careful with this because sometimes you can assign too much memory and then your computer just freezes and you have to turn it off. Uh, here, the, here's the actual name of the... Uh, All Nerf Studio commands directly. Well, let's copy this. Let's go into our VS Code here. We'll exit out of this. Okay, it seems like that worked. Let's, uh, Go back to our home directory. Let's go into dev betterer. We'll make a folder here for this make directory nerf studio. Uh, uh, 
we're gonna touch uh, say readme.md. So we're just gonna paste these commands into a readme file just so we can uh, ed edit them and get all the right stuff here. Okay. So let's make this a little smaller. We do not want this. This should be dash home dash trend dash data, I'm pretty sure. The ls Okay, that works. Let's go back. Uh, home trend cache. Let's get rid of these comments here. Uh, home trend cache, mount the cache folder to avoid re-downloading models every time. Okay, I guess that makes sense. That's why they have it there. Uh, port is totally fine. Let's keep that. But remove the container after it's closed. I'm okay with that as well. Uh, start container in interactive mode. I'm also okay with that. Uh, 12 gigabyte memory. Seems like a lot. I think we can do ls mem. So we have 66 gigs of memory on this computer. I feel like 12 gigs is probably fine. So let's just leave it at that. And what is the actual version? Okay, this is the actual uh, Docker image that we got here. Dromni. Nerf Studio 1.19. So let's use that our build command here. All right. So now we have our full Docker command. Let's go ahead, copy paste this, and let's pray. Oof. All right. <laughs> uh. Lots of potential errors here. Let's see what we got. Okay. So, started here, started the GPU. Uh, ZSH, completion script failed. Unexpected error uh, from CUDA device count. Did you run some CUDA before calling? Forward compatibility triggered internally. Non-supported hardware. Okay, it's still trying to import this TCNN. Ensure PyTorch with CUDA support is installed. So one thing we can do is I don't actually want this command here to run. Ideally, we'd just be able to go into the container and then see. Target architecture must be defined at build time for call map and tiny kunet end to be able to compile properly. If your GPU architecture is not covered by the following table, you need to replace the number in the line. Okay, so we have a 1080 here, so we want 
Ubuntu Architecture 61. Why don't we try that? It seems like they gave us the uh, detail. Go into our uh, dev and then tiny CUDA, tiny CUDA NN. Do this. Let's do 61. Let's do CMake dot dash B build. Okay, this is. Failed to find a working CUDA architecture. Okay, so I think what they want here is maybe you want to build this Docker file, right? Dash dash build our CUDA architectures. Yeah, okay, so let's rather than using the one that they have, let's actually just build this Docker image from scratch. So we're going to come here, we're going to do Docker build arg, all of this here. And uh, here, instead of CUDA architectures equals 86. Let's do the one for our specific GPU here, the 1080 series, which is going to be 61. No such file or directory. There's no Docker file here. Oh, we're not in the right folder. Let's go to, uh, let's open up a new terminal. Let's go to, we're going to have to clone this. So let's go down to our dev folder. Let's uh, git clone this here. We're going to git clone the Nerf Studio. We're going to go into Nerf Studio. CD Nerf Studio. There should be a Docker file here. OK, there is a Docker file. Now let's go back to here. Uh, actually. Let's copy the command from here. Take this command here. Copy. Put it here. Okay, so now we're going to be building the Docker file. Uh, and we're going to be, uh, this argument here is going to change to use the specific CUDA architecture for uh, our graphics card. Okay, this is going to take a second. I'm going to go to the bathroom while this goes, and I'll be back back. All right, where are we at? Okay, it looks like it's still building. Let's 
This might take a second. In the meantime, uh, one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to generate a data set for the nerf creation. So we're going to go over here into our mid journey bot. And we are going to generate some images of Boo from different angles. So we're going to do white uh, Bengal cat. How do I get rid of this sidebar here? Streamer mode is enabled. Move sidebar in Discord. Uh, click on the user icon to type hides the your list. Control U. Okay. Uh, white Bengal cat uh, facing the camera. White Bengal cat portrait shot facing the camera dash dash V5. I must do dash dash AR one by one. Oh, okay, wait up. Need to not do that. We need to do dash uh, imagine. Put that as the prompt. Okay. So that'll start our generative mid journey AI uh, on that. And basically, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to use uh, the generative AI to basically generate different images of this cat from the front, from the top, from the side. And I'm going to try to create a data set and see if we can actually build a nerf from it. And most likely it's going to be pretty mangled, but maybe it's not. Two K polls on uh, Nerf Studio here. Of course, issues. NV Labs. We don't need this one anymore. We don't need this one anymore. We don't need this one anymore. We don't need that one anymore. Just sitting here waiting for this. Let's see where our journey is. Let's do variations of this first one here. And let's do the same prompt. Except now let's do White Bengal Cat. Copy, dash prompt, and then we'll do a portrait shot. Uh, let's do white Bengal cat uh, from portrait shot. Uh, how do you call it? Profile, profile view. Do that. Where are we at? On our Docker, still building. It's installing uh, Torch 11.13 with CUDA 11.6. I think that's good, actually. That's the version that we have. Hopefully that works. Let's go back. Here. Uh, 
Uh, actually download all of these. Right? Is this just one image? Yeah, let's get upscaled versions of all of these. Oh, no, I don't really want variations of two. <laughs> upscale three, upscale four. Uh, give me variations of probably this one here, this top one. Save image. Unable to save image preview. Save image. What? Save image. You cannot save the image. What the fuck is that? I've never even seen that. So let's go ahead and make a folder. Uh, no, this is not what we want. Let's delete that. Let's open up the terminal here. Let's go into our uh, data folder, actually, where the uh, Nerf Studio data was. CD Nerf Studio, clear. Um, let's uh, make a new directory here. We'll call it uh, Babu, which is the name of this cat. Going to Babu. Uh, what is the poster format again? You have images, Colmac, base cam, transforms. Okay, so let's make directory output. Let's make directory images. Uh, make directory. Uh, let's do uh, copy dot dot dash poster transforms and let's also copy the uh, base cam all right so now that that Nautilus dot, which will open this specific folder. All right. Here's where we're going to put our images of cats. Uh, and we want variations of this one here, this first one. And give me upscaled versions. really annoying that I can't save image. I just save the image from that, right? Stupid. I think we're going to need to open a new cron or tab here. Open up a new tab. We'll bring it over here. Uh, we'll put this image in here. Open, let's just open up all the images in here and then we'll save them here. Get the profile views in here. Okay, let's get more of these. It upscaled versions of all of these. Uh, 
Uh, let's also do one from the back. So dash imagine a white Bengal cat portrait uh, from behind back of the head dash dash v5 dash dash ar11 okay so got some profile shots drag those in there okay Uh, let's get some upscaled versions of these. All right, and we're going to have to choose a specific back shot of the cat here. So the reason I'm choosing these weird uh, specific angles is that basically we need to provide the camera positions and we don't know exactly what those are going to be. So we just need to have enough variety. Okay, none of these are necessarily great. Let me try refreshing. We'll see if we can get better versions. Let's see where we're at in terms of our Docker building. Okay, it's still not super working. Start saving these. Save image as. Uh, save it in uh, pictures. Uh, actually, save it in uh, data. Nerf Studio. And uh, but we'll save it here. That image is Save. Control W, Control S, Enter. Control W, Control S. Save. W. Control W, Control S, save. Control W, Control S, save. Control W, <laughs> Control S. So some of you might be wondering, why don't you just do this via API call? And the answer is, I don't know. Uh, here, I'm looking at this. I like this one. I like the black background. Let's give uh, more variations of two. And also variations of four. I like that shot as well. S. W. S. Save. Control W. Control S. Save. Control W, Control S, save. W, Control S, save. Control W, Control S, save. And let's get some upscaled versions of the back shots. And let's see if we can actually do from the top. That seems like a 
probably is like the most complicated uh, shot. Uh, dash imagine uh, white Bengal cat portrait. Uh, or maybe we can do three quarter pose. Dash dash V five dash dash AR one to one. Let's see. Uh, dash dash V space five. Okay, out of these, I like. Uh, I kind of like this one. So give me upscale one. Give me upscale. One, two, three. That one there. That one there. That one there. That one there. Looking at what are these three quarter shots? I kind of like this one. They all need to have the same background, right? So that's a big part of it. Or is it this one? So I want variations of the one with the black background, which is uh, two. So let's do variations of two. Go back here. Exporting. Okay, it seems like it's kind of getting to the end here. 27 out of 28. We should have our Docker image soon enough. All right. We have our Docker image. Let's actually copy this command here. Copy, we'll put it inside our uh, in here. So CD into Nerf Studio. Okay, and now we're going to try basically the same command, except we're going to, uh, instead of this, we're going to do uh, Nerf Studio, but the tag is going to be Nerf Studio 61, which is the one that we just built here. Let's see if this one works. Unable to find Romney Nerf Studio, Nerf Studio 61 locally. What if we just do uh, Nerf Studio 61? All right. Pray a little bit, pray. Oh, still airing out. So unfortunate. Unknown compute capability. Ensure PyTorch with CUDA support is installed. All right, while we think about that, let's get these uh, shots here. The upscaled version of these four kitties. One, upscaled. Three. Scale four.
And we're going to save these as well as we were doing beforehand. So let's go to the first one here. Save. Enter. W. Save. Save. Control W. Control 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 S. Save. Control W. Control S. Save. Control W. Control S save W control S save and I think we're good on that. I think we have ourselves a little data set. So actually if we do uh Nautilus dot here we go into images. Here's our data set. So this is what we're gonna be using to uh make the actual nerf. This is probably not gonna be enough images and the quality of the actual nerf that comes out of it's pretty, probably gonna be pretty poor, but hopefully it's interesting. Okay, so problem right now is that we can't even Uh, get this Nerf Studio to work because we're having issues with the tiny CNN. Copy. Go back here. to find working CUDA architecture. What did you set CMake CUDA architectures? What if I do this? only library that wraps CUDA is what we need. It's just like viruses. What the fuck is it? Crap. Tiny CUDA, Tiny CUDA NN is such a piece of crap. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Tiny CUDA NN Linux installation. Okay, wait up. Maybe it's because Conda activate Nerf Studio. It's that.
must be non-empty if set. What do we just run cmake.b build here? Cmake CUDA architecture 60. Trouble installing tiny CUDA NN. This is what we will have as well. Uh, this is a slightly different, this is like a Windows thing. Check your environment variables and make sure the following variables are set. Do we have that variable set? Echo CUDA. Echo CUDA home. Echo CUDA half. None of these are set. Okay. So let's go set all those variables. I think they had some instructions on how to set them here. CUDA. CUDA path variables tiny CUDNN. Oh, a little bit old, 2017. Echo path. About echo path here. Yeah, so let's do history grep path. Let's make sure that these here are part of the library path. Copy that. Let's actually put it in our here. Also do this one. Well, let's copy both of these and put them into this second terminal here where we're trying to install this. CUDA architectures must be non-empty if set. CMake CUDA architectures equals 61. CUDA driver, CUDA 11.6, release 11.6. Echo path. Okay, that's pointing to the right thing. About ls dash user dash local CUDA. What is just the normal CUDA? Uh, what do we do? Dash lh T CUDA star, and that'll tell us when. Uh, okay, so we see here CUDA 11, the 25th of March, 2022. CUDA, this one is the 22nd of March, 2022. This is actually a is this a sim link? Is that what it's saying? ETC alternatives?
try it again. It's, I mean, it's installed. Okay. Uh, add the following to your bash RC. I mean, there, I exported it. Begin by cloning the repository and all its sub-modules. Why don't we actually try doing that? Maybe we got fucked up here. Remove dash RF tiny CUDA and then. And let's uh, get clone it again. And let's go into tiny CUDA and then cmake dot dash b build. We did it! Look at that. Look at that. All right. All right. Damn. All right, we finally got fucking tiny CUDA to work, tiny CUDA NN to actually install. Let's go back into uh, our dev folder. Let's remove uh, Nerf Studio. Let's go reclone it. Okay, that seems to be working fine. Uh, let's actually clone it, so let's do this. Okay, cloning into Nerf Studio. Uh, pip uh, CD Nerf Studio. Pip install dash dash upgrade pip setup tools. Pip install dash e dot okay seems like it's working let's see if we can uh, train this this is where we pray this is where you sacrifice a goat to Odin to make sure that this runs. All right, three, two, one. Oh. Oh. What are we running into? Tiny CUDA and then as TCNN what is the actual thing. Uh, tiny CUDA NN. CUDA caching allocator. Name we're running into before. Uh, let's get rid of some of this. Import error, Nerf Studio, lib, Python. We don't need any of this. Bindings, tiny cootie and end bindings. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, here.
Oh, it might be some Ubuntu issue. Plus plus or G plus plus dash dash version eleven three GCC dash dash version also eleven three We just copy all of these. Let's see. There are two choices. Let's try one. There are two choices for alternative GCC. Let's try one. Okay. So let's go. We can rerun this. Oh, that did anything. Okay, so we need to probably go back into tiny Buddha and N and uh, actually let's remove Tiny CUDA and then we'll install it. Okay, let's go into our tiny CUDA and then uh, CMake dot build Oof. oh what is all this filing the CUDA identification local or errors detected expected a This is now the GCC 10, I think it's the one we're using now. Yeah. Okay, so with GCC 11, it wasn't working, and with GCC 10, it's not working. Try the 11 again. Let's also use uh, G plus plus ten or eleven. Sorry, two. All right, now let's try it again. Let's see if we do uh, CMake Buddha Architectures. And U61. Here. Try this command. Fully fused MLPs do not support GPU architectures of 70 or less. What are those?
did this guy How we built it. I'm really suspicious of this. I feel like this might actually be the crypt night for us. Let's see if we can even run like what if we try to run the Docker image that we were trying to run before? We copy this command and put it into other term. Still the same thing here. Ensure PyTorch with CUDA support is installed. So what if we uh, go into the actual Nerf Studio? Uh, no. Nerf Studio folder here. And there's going to be the Docker file. So let's actually look at the uh, Docker file. Okay, so instead of this, 61. This is CUDA 11.6. Call the library path. Install call map. I think this is fine. Why is this causing issues here? Oh. What exactly? Completion script generation failed. What if I run that on my actual computer here?
Okay, so here maybe this gives us a little bit more details. Maybe there's like a CPU version of it that we can use. What is the uh, DNS train command that we've been running? DNS train nerfacto. Recommended real-time model tuned for real captures. My P nerf sensor F. Try tensor F. Okay, so you need specific types of data for that. Uh, if you have a nerf model, you can either render NS render dash dash help NX export point cloud using custom data, custom camera poses. We do not have call maps for it. We're gonna have to create it. Okay. The camera intrinsics file. Camera X Trinsics. Depth images, masks. Use the OpenGL Blender coordinate conventions for cameras. Okay, I mean, we're gonna have to write this for the uh, app data set that we created. Uh, transform.json has a similar format. Uh, can we sort this? Right. In your first model. Installation. Porch 1.13 with CUDA 11. Maybe let's do this and that. You don't get it wrong. Hi, what is nerf basically? Nerf 
is a neural network that acts as a 3D file. I make living through consulting. Okay. So let's install this into the library for Nerf Studio Conda environment. Seems to be fine. What if we also export this let's try to run this again I mean this does seem to work Go back to the issues somebody has in there. TCNN. Built to install. Name TCNN is not defined. Need to build it and then install its PyTorch bindings. Dip install FunTorch. What if, what FunTorch version do we have? Import Funk Torch. Funk Torch. Version. So it's 113 CUDA 11.7, which is correct. What about Torch Vision? Torch Vision. Torch Vision dot version. Ah, uh, you see, maybe this is wrong. No, that's also right. Also CUDA 11.7. There. 
Uh, wait up. If you would like to install from a local clone, we need to go into here, do bindings, torch, and then run python setup.py and install in there. Maybe that's what we needed. Yeah, maybe it just wasn't using the right uh, tiny kunda, and then it was using the one that was pip installed via that weird installation here. Because we used a local clone that we built. Okay, okay, it's going, it's going, it's going. Let's see if we can Python import tiny CUDA NN. Ah. <laughs> ah, damn, dude, this is home trend undefined symbol. God damn. This is just such a piece of crap. Tiny Cuda NN is hot garbage. Google, let's paste that in there. Uh, this usually shows up when there's an incompatibility issue between the installed PyTorch version and the detector library version. Uh, there's a possibility that the PyTorch 1.8.1 plus CUDA version is incompatible with the Tektron. Okay, so I mean, Pretty sure we have all the right versions here because they're all installed based off this, but let's try it again. Let's run this. This will uninstall all the versions. So that uninstalled all the current Torch, Torch Vision, and Funk Torch that we have. We're going to reinstall them here. Okay, it's installing, reinstalling them now. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, Torch Audio is The dependency conflict between Torch Audio Why isn't there a version here on Torch Audio? There should be a version. Okay, either way. 
let's uh, install these bindings here. I think is Python setup.py dash e dot it that they tell us. Huh? Writing, writing, running, compiling, uh, setting workers, detected CUDA version 11.6. Oh, uh, maybe this is the problem is that we're using an 11.7. Let's actually do this. Uninstall all of these. Yes, yes, yes. Let's install specifically 11.6. It's thinking. All right, it's installed. Now have Torch with 11.6. Now let's try to uh, set up the bindings for TinyCUDNN. Using 11.6, that's what we want, that's good. Okay, let's pip uninstall Nerf Studio, uh, just in case. Then let's pip install Nerf Studio. Okay. Uh, Now let's pray NS train or facto data. Python import TCNN or import tiny CUDA NN as TCNN. That same error here. Import torch torch version torch dot cuda dot is available true okay See if that had any uh, impact to the uh, Docker image. Control Q here. Um, actually, let's make sure that these are set correctly. Let's also do export CUDA home. Run this one. Oh, I think it's because we uh back here it's not this is not the full tag of the Docker image, it's actually this. Oh, let's run that. All right, 
So here, we're inside the Docker image. So here's what I think is happening is the CUDA we have right now is 11.6. The CUDA in the uh, Docker image is 11.8. So whenever you try to run this Docker image, right, you see it's 11.8 and it's incompatible with 11.6. So we have two paths forward. We can either reinstall our NVIDIA drivers and the NVIDIA CUDA version on this computer to 11.8 and then rerun that Docker image. Or we can change the uh, CUDA on the Docker image to 11.6. 11 so I think changing the CUDA version on our computer is probably the way to do this. Change CUDA version on computer. Ooh, maybe install multiple versions. Let's go into NVIDIA developer. CUDA 11.8 installation. CUDA toolkit 11.8, that's what we want. Uh, we want Linux. We want x86. We want Ubuntu. And I think we're version 22. And... Want. Let's do this one. All right. That in there. Oh, let's not do this in the bindings folder. Let's do it in the uh, home folder. That there. Let's download that. Then we're going to move it into APT references, I suppose. Uh, former first having and let's get that in there and download CUDA 11.8 installer the dot deb this is a uh, basically a Linux software package Take a second. That. And we're going to do this. We're going to update. And we're going to install CUDA. All right, I think the problem though is I'm probably gonna have to restart my computer, which means the stream is gonna end. Yeah.
Following packages have unmet dependencies. sudo apt-get update. sudo apt-fix broken install. Okay, it's going to remove all the 11.6 stuff. Sure. On zero chance I just nuked my computer there. sudo apt get uh, install CUDA. Yes. Looks like it's working. Looks like it's installing. We're going to have to change these here to 11.8. Let's also uh, copy some of our history here, just so we have it once we inevitably restart this computer. Yeah, so we want this. How's this doing? On. And okay, it looks like it worked. Let's we'll see if NVIDIA SMI driver library version match. Okay, so we need to restart this computer, but before we do that, let's go ahead and push these things. Probably end the stream there too. I'm gonna go eat, but this is the actual train command that we want to run. Copy. Let's see what else we want to copy here. We want to definitely this. Three here. These need to come here before we uh, install. And this part here needs to get in here as well. So I'm just setting up these commands so that when we uh, turn off this computer and come back to it, it's still good. Uh, we also need a git clone here.
cd dev. Okay, uh, let's put a little bit of context here. Trying to get Nerf Studio to work on my Linux machine. Close out of that. Let's uh, go into our better folder. Uh, git status is just going to be that readme. And let's say uh, commands to install our studio. Or a command to verify kit is installed. Okay, we're here. And we're going to need a reboot. Or uh, I want to. Ubuntu, here we go. Delete, uh, install, copy, install the CUDA keyring. We did all of this. Update, sudo app install CUDA. Include all GDS packages. App get install NVIDIA GDS. I think we'll probably do that as well. Okay, yes. Perform the post installation actions. It's just basically setting the paths. Power nine. Hopefully we don't have to do that. Okay, we're gonna have to reboot our computer here, so we're gonna end it there, but thank you for listening. Hope you guys found some of this helpful. Sorry, we didn't really quite get to anything. All we did was just spend two hours uh, trying to install the right CUDA version, but thanks for listening and see you guys later.